today at Charlie's Foreign Car, we are doing tires on a 2015 Turbo S. So this is the wheel wrench. Uh, so there's no lug nut. There's just one center locking lug nut. That's what holds the wheel to the hub. And on top of that, it has PCCB, Porsche Composite Ceramic Brakes. So they're very special. So first we need to break the 450 foot pounds of, of lug nut torque. I mean, this tool is gonna specially go into and depress this spring. So see how right now it's sticky? Um, we're gonna make sure we also lubricate it with the Castrol Porsche lubricant. Uh, for now, we're gonna push this guy on like so and use our three quarter inch uh, ratchet, huge ratchet and a giant breaker bar. All this stuff is very close to the body work and rims of the car. These rims are HRE rims. So the offset's just a tiny bit different. Um, so I'm just gonna be really careful to only allow this breaker bar to go right where this tire is. All right, now we've got that loose. This is a two person job removing this wheel. Um, and the reason why is because once we pull this off, no one's gonna hold this wheel on because we are not going to allow this rim to drop onto the brake disc. The brake discs are very strong, but they're also very brittle. And if the rim drops down from the axle, it can chip the brake disc. And the brake discs are very expensive on this car. I think we're loose enough there. I'm gonna hand do it now. Yeah, we're done there. Okay, just hold that on there. Just hold the wheel on there. Okay. We're gonna have two people remove this wheel. We're gonna come straight off as to not touch the ceramic rim, the ceramic uh, brake disc. This is the ceramic composite discs and ceramic pads that Porsche offers. Pretty special setup, used for super high heat, very high heat. These are 21 inch rims and the tire size is a 325, 25, 21. That's a crazy tire size. We got the tires on, mounted and balanced, and now we're gonna take proper care of the center locking nut. Um, you can see there's a, the, the grease that's on this center locking nut currently is just all very old. Um, if you look inside here on the threaded portion in here, it's kind of turned a little chalky. Um, and then the center pin is a little sticky. I don't, I don't like how sticky that center pin is. That's the actual locking mechanism that comes out and locks this center lock, right? So that spline spring loads and comes out. Uh, so we're just gonna start cleaning. Anywhere where there was old grease, we're going to put new grease. Okay, just a nice light coating of grease. There is grease on the outside of here. This is a machine surface, so you don't wanna use anything too abrasive. You wanna use things like razor blades because they're gonna contact the entire surface and we're not gonna abrade down into the whole entire component. So don't use sandpaper to clean the surface. We're only gonna use just a very simple razor blade. You can feel now it's kinda, of, I got it nice and dried up. Like it's asking for lubrication now, which is perfect. So we're gonna get all this stuff out. See, look at that big old chunk of old grease. Just old grease. It needs to be all cleaned up. See that stuff just coming right out. As long as this guy floats while we're torquing the wheel down and we use new lubrication, then we're gonna be good. We are going to lubricate the threads. It comes out kind of pasty like that. 
And we are going to put it onto here and there. We're gonna get some on the splines as well. So you can see that is all inside the spline and on the thread. And because we also had some out here, we're also going to lube out here as well. And then that way, this guy goes back on. It's perfectly centered, everything centered because you can see what's gonna happen next when we torque this rim down. It takes an excessive amount of pressure. Lots of old grease in here. So that's just all old grease. And we're gonna make sure that we got this all nice and clean. So now we've got this side. This side's all freshly cleaned and greased. And it's a two person job to lift this guy up onto here. Perfectly in the center. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, hold that right there. Put this guy on. Make sure that we got this O-ring seats in there nicely. Get that grease, perfect. Okay, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down. We're gonna set it, just barely rest the tire on the ground. And then we're gonna go into our initial torque sequence. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna torque the torque procedure on these. We're gonna to torque it to 450 foot pounds once, then we're gonna back it off a half a turn, then we're gonna to torque it to 450 foot pounds again. The reason for that is to perfectly center the wheel to make sure the wheel's not loose. The, the theory is the grease could liquid lock the centering nut and the wheel, so then the wheel won't be tight. So we're gonna back it off and then do it again. Then it's gonna be perfectly centered. It takes an immense amount of force. That's why my torque wrench is like about four feet long. Okay, so we're gonna have Noah go into the cabin and if we need to push the brake, we're gonna push the brake. So now we're gonna loosen it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go about a half turn just until it gets loose. And these are all three quarter inch ratchets that I'm using here, big ratchets. And make sure that I'm still at 450. Yes. And you wanna do that all in one sweep. You don't wanna do multiple sweeps because it can affect the, the torque braking. All right, that wheel is tight. Now that we've just got done torquing that to our final torque, our second torque, we wanna come in here and we wanna make sure that this guy is floating in and out of there, okay? So what's happening is that spline is coming out and locking the center nut. So now it's tight and it cannot rotate loose because the center locking spline is locking the nut. So that's tight and it can't come loose. So see how it just got stuck? Okay, so right now you can't send the car out like that because it can become loose. You could use any sort of tool and you just wanna go in there and get the thing to float out do not let the vehicle leave and go onto the roadway if that piece is stuck down like that. It has to be like this. It's gotta be like that. Now we're ready to just put the Porsche caps back on, armor all the tires and it's done. So uh, Porsche crests always get pointed uh, toward the valve stem, right? Except for center locks, kind of a bummer. Uh, this little standoff piece right here has to go into that divot right there. And it all depends on where this final torque happens is where this crest is going to point. So the crest has to point right here. That's the only way that we can flush 
that. And now the crest is not pointed to the valve stem, but that's all right because it's got a center lock. That's it for these wheels and tires. Thanks for watching. <laughs>